When it comes to budget-friendly smartphones, Realme is one of the go-to brands for most. Not only are their smartphones properly spec, but most of their phones are also light on the wallet. And this 2022, there are a bunch of Realme phones launched. Today, we're going to be checking out the top Realme smartphones released in 2022 that are priced under 10,000 pesos. These make them the perfect holiday gift, whether for yourself or for someone else. I'm Josef from Yugatech, and let's get right into it. First up on this list is the Realme C33. Launched in the Philippines last October, it sports a 6.5-inch IPS display with a Unisoc T612 chipset and 4GB RAM. It only comes with 64GB storage but is expandable via dedicated microSD card slot. At the back, the Realme C33 comes with a dual rear camera highlighted by a 50MP main lens and a 0.3MP secondary lens. Meanwhile, the front camera uses a 5MP lens. A 5000mAh battery comes standard and it also comes with a 3.5 5mm audio jack. Realme UI S Edition is standard on the C33 which is based on Android 12. Two colors are available, Aqua Blue and Night C. The Realme C33 retails for 7,499 pesos for the 4GB plus 64GB variant. Next up on the list is another member of Realme C family, the C35. The C35 sports a 6.6-inch IPS display with 2408 by 1080 resolution, a Unisoc Tiger T616 chipset and is available with either 4 or 6 gigs of RAM. Realme offers the C35 with either 64GB or 128GB storage. Both of these are expandable via a dedicated microSD card slot. The triple rear camera has Highlighted by a 50 megapixel main lens, joined by a 2 megapixel macro lens and a 2 megapixel depth lens. The front camera uses an 8 megapixel unit. Powering the C35 is a 5000 milliamp battery with 18 watts fast charging. It also features a fingerprint scanner and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. The C35 does run on the older Realme UI R Edition OS, which is based on Android 11. The price for the Realme C35 starts at 8,499 pesos. One of the most affordable models on this list is the Realme C30, starting at 5,499 pesos for the 2GB plus 32GB variant. Compared to other models on this list, however, it is not as powerful. For starters, the C30 is only powered by a Unisoc Tiger T612 chipset but comes with only 2GB or 4GB RAM. Storage space is limited to either 32 or 64GB but is expandable via microSD card slot. It also uses a single rear 8MP camera and a 5MP front camera. Despite that, it still comes with a 6.5-inch IPS display, 5000mAh battery with 10W charging, and a 3.5mm audio jack. The C30 runs on Realme UI Go Edition based on Android 12. The colors available are lake blue, bamboo green, and denim black. After the most affordable, we move on to one of the most expensive smartphones on this list, the Realme Narzo 50, starting at 9,999 pesos for the 6GB plus 128GB variant. While it might be expensive, it's also one of the most loaded phones on this list. The Narzo 50 features a 6.6-inch IPS display with 2412 by 1080 resolution and a 120Hz refresh rate. The smartphone is powered by a MediaTek Helio G96 chipset and is available with 6GB RAM plus dynamic RAM expansion exclusive to the 6GB model. The storage space is rated 128GB but can be expanded via microSD card slot. At the rear, there's a triple camera system highlighted by a 50MP main lens with a 2MP macro lens and 2MP black and white lens. Meanwhile, the front camera uses a 16MP lens. Other features include the fingerprint scanner, 3.5mm audio jack, and a 5000mAh battery with 33 watts fast charging. The Narzo 50 runs on Realme UI 2.0 based on Android 11 and comes in two colors. Speed Black and Speed Blue. So these are the top Realme phones released in 2022 for under 10,000 pesos. Among them, which one is your favorite? And more importantly, which one would you buy this holiday season? Share your thoughts in the comment sections below. Now, if you enjoyed this video, do give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, and visit yugatech.com to stay updated with the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this has been Jose, and I'll see you in the next video. See you!